Sì, no, ho capito Valentino Rossi, ma hai visto Pecco Bagnaia che ha fatto? Oh, hi, excuse me. Hello. Do you know what time it is? Hi. Aspetta, eh. It's uh, 17. 17? Ah, no, so, sorry, eh, 5 o'clock. Glock? Oh, I see what you're doing there. You wanna see my Glock 17 Gen 5 Pelagon, don't you? Uh, no, no, no. Good day folks, welcome back to my channel and as always, thank you so much for watching. So, my friends over at Pyramid Air, one of the largest leading air gun stores here in the United States, just sent me the new Umarex Glock 17 Gen 5 CO2 gun pellet version. They also sent me the brand new Crossman 1077 TAC or tactical version but this is for next week as you see our glock is still in its original packaging which by the way has some decent weight to it so before opening it do have a look at some specs here on the box so i'm seeing this gun for the very first time and so for the very first time Let's have a look at it together. All right, first impression right out of the box. This thing looks extremely realistic and it feels extremely realistic. As I said, it has a certain weight to it. That's also because of the full metal slide with a full blowback action, which we'll see when we start shooting it, and a polymer frame which is very very high quality this is a 177 caliber rifled barrel the gun comes with a drop free belt fed chain style magazine which will load in a second and of course it is powered by 12 gram co2 cartridges now the box which we completely destroyed also contains two very important things First off, the manual with various Umarex brochures and flyers and whatnot. But above all, it contains this very important Allen key, which we're going to put to use right away. All right, so let's see what all the different buttons and switches on this gun are. So right here, as we saw earlier, we have the mag release. It is indeed on the left side of the gun, but apparently you can actually move it to the right of the gun for all you lefties. Uh, this switch right here blocks the metal slide in place, just like that. And the gun has a trigger safety, which I'm never too crazy about, but it also has a switch safety now this thing is not very easy to switch around um, obviously red here is for fire and with some nails and a lot of strength with some nails and a lot of strength with some nails and a lot of strength <laughs> there we go you can move it onto safety switch it onto safety so Again, fire and safety. Um, what else? Down here we have a plate that slides over, which allows us to insert our Allen key in it. And by twisting it, we go and pierce the CO2 cartridge at the moment of need. But we will see that in just a second as we will be loading the gun. Well, since we have a brand new gun to review, what better pellets than the brand new 
HNN Hornet pistols to load into this gun. Again, these are brand new pellets. They're the Hornets made a bit shorter for pistols just like this one. So just perfect. I actually reviewed these not long ago. So if you haven't seen the video, do go check it out. And just like that, our 21 pellets have been loaded, as well as our CO2 has been pierced. The gun is ready to shoot. This gun is Glock certified, and it's a true replica of the real deal. In the feel, in the details, in the looks, and in the weight. And it's a great way to practice in your backyard. And I also suspect it being an extremely fun plinking machine. So let's take this thing outside and shoot some stuff. And guys, there's a little detail I forgot to mention that this gun has a Picatinny rail right under the barrel where you can attach a torch or a laser and never be in the dark. Let's start with some accuracy testing. 21 shots from about 30 feet. All right, folks, well, first accuracy attempt, not too shabby. Uh, let me tell you first what I did. Um, I shot an entire magazine first off camera. First time I hold this gun, first time I shoot this gun, I wanted to see what I was dealing with. In fact, I did find the trigger to be quite stiff. Again, brand new gun, that is very normal. Um, but again, so I shot a first round, 21 shots off camera. Then I put the target here and I shot the second round, I did not change CO2. Uh, so basically what does this tell us? That with one CO2 cartridge, you basically get two rounds, uh, almost 22 shots. Now, I say almost 22 shots because the last few shots, especially like these two, started becoming really, really weak and kind of going off trajectory. So again, I am quite satisfied with my accuracy test being the first time that I shoot this gun. I do have some improvement to make. Uh, but again, uh, a good lesson learned is again that with one CO2 cartridge, you get almost two full rounds. All right, folks, up next, ballistic gel. This very tiny little ballistic gel block. It is quite wrinkly, definitely needs a recook, but uh, we'll shoot it up first. And this time I'll be shooting these lightweight pointy or pointed uh, pellets.
well, for those of you who've been watching my PCP videos lately, <laughs> this is definitely a different sight. Our pellets today didn't uh, even enter more than two inches into this 10% ballistic gel. Nevertheless, we have some nice entries and penetration. Again, two inches into the ballistic gel. All right, folks, finally, our final test. We're going to measure the speed of this gun, of the pellets, and we'll be measuring that speed in feet per second. And again, we'll be shooting these pointed slugs. They weigh 7.4 grain. And after that, we'll call it a day. All right, folks, let me know what you thought about this extremely realistic Umarex Glock. I mean, doesn't get more realistic than this. Amazing. Uh, again, let me know what you thought of it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you to Pyramid Air for sending this gun over. Um, if you did like the video, please click that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. And I'll see you guys at the next one.